Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. Today, we are gonna go out on the water and this is the first time that my boat has been on the water since I had the wiring upgrade done on my boat. Uh, what I did, I'll leave a link in the description below, but we did dedicated wiring harness for all of my graphs, uh, my Mega Live Target Lock, and 360. I did uh, dedicated lines. We came off of the battery with a switch. We went eight gauge wiring up to here. We put a new fuse box in and then 10 gauge wiring to both of my Solixes, my Target Lock, my 360, and my Solix 15. So, yeah, today's gonna be the first day that we try that. And I wanna show you guys one of the most awesome features of using Mega Live Target Lock with Hummingbird 360. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Y'all give me a, a hit pause, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Click that notification bell and we'll see you out on the water. Let's go. Hey guys, let's talk about Solar Bat sunglasses. These new glasses that I got, they are called FL1s and they are prescription no line bifocals. And what's unique about them is that they float and they have this strap on the back to keep them on your head when you're running down the lake. So here's an example of them floating. The other two pair that I really, really like are the uh, HP3s and these RB2s right here. I, I wear a prescription, I wear no line progressive bifocals and it is real easy to get solar bat sunglasses. Go on to the website and then select prescription series and then you can see all of the models that are available for prescription. Select the one that you want, add it to your cart but don't forget to put Big Jim RX30 in your promotion code and that will get you 30% off. Once you pay for your cart, you can send Solar Bat your prescription and they will have your sunglasses custom made for you. They're a great family owned company here in the United States and I highly recommend them. So don't wait. If you're looking to get some good sunglasses, get you some solar bats and you'll be glad that you did and tell them that Big Jim sent you. All right guys, uh, first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about uh, getting your settings for your target lock. And the way you do that is, well, way I'm gonna do it in this case, I've spot locked into the wind. So of course you got your Mega Live up here uh, I have 360 and mapping down here, but we're only going to be talking about Mega Live. So you go to your home screen, go to settings, okay, go to chirp sonar, and you can see it's going to start off with sonar source, go all the way down, pass down imaging, pass side imaging, pass 360 to Mega Live. Okay, here's your interference rejection, which I have it on number three. Installation depth. We're gonna bring that to one because I'm about a foot under the water. I have my Mega Live on the starboard side of the pole, so select starboard. On use AH, AHRS, hit that, turn it on, mark pitch and roll. And then here's all your settings for your devices. Like your, you can set your home button, which is this button right here. You can come right here. 
and you can have it do all kinds of different things sweep disable pinging all that mark waypoint you can set it to uh do whatever you want we'll go back my my remote's already paired my foot pedal's paired target lock forget target lock heading sensor let's see what that does okay we're going to come back to that pair target lock heading sensor press the pair button on the heading sensor led which is right up on top And that paired it with the unit. Then you come down to calibrate. We're going to hit calibrate. And it says, heading sensors being calibrated, leave the transducer in the water until the process is complete. During calibration, all transducer steering functions are disabled. So it's calibrating. And what it's doing, it's spinning around, getting its locations. And then when it's done, that Mega Live target lock box will go away. And it's done. So that is how you set up your target lock. So now let's go find us a target and lock on to it. Now guys, I wanna show y'all something that is so stinking cool. Yeah, you can see it running right along that log. All right, there's a log out here. I wanna show y'all something cool. When you have your 360 and you find something, okay, let me see if I can get it where there's not a glare, but there's a tree right there. And if you hold down, you can hit target lock. And the Mega Live and target lock just locked onto that tree that I found on the 360. So the uh, you can see where we got uh, spot lock on, trolling motors turning. We're kind of into the wind, and we found a tree right here on our 360. I held down on it and hit target lock and the target lock locked the mega live on that tree what an awesome an awesome awesome deal you can see here on the icon i've got the target lock icon up so steve is going to throw his bait out there you guys have asked for tracking your bait on mega life i got my brother-in-law steve up here with the crankbait rod and we got mega live going so throw it out there there it goes stop it Looks like there's some bait fish and some fish swimming around it. There it goes. And there it goes right through there. Right where that fish is. Oh, we didn't bite it. But anyway, that's one of the neat, fix neat features about having 360 is that you can target lock anything that you see on your 360 just by holding your finger down. All right, we're gonna show you an instance where Steve is fishing with a swim bait. You can see it right there. About, what, three inches, you think, Steve? Yeah, yeah four. And uh, I don't know, about maybe quarter size head, three-eighths. 
So throw it out there, my man. About 40 feet. It's more about 50 feet, I can see it. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, so that that's some cool things that you can do with target lock, Mega Live, and your Mega 360. We're going to keep this video short, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. That way, you'll be able to see when I do these little videos from time to time on little things that I learn about Mega Live, target lock, and 360. But the one thing that I'm very proud of is my new wiring harness has done a great job uh you know i have on my 15 inch solix i have a 7.5 amp fuse on my two 12 inches i have five amp fuses i have a five amp fuse on the mega live target lock and a one amp fuse on the 360 so Anyway, I got all my fuses right. My wiring looks good. I got plenty of battery power with two North Star 31 AGMs in parallel. And I'm running my screen right now on 10, which is the brightest. And I'm still showing 12.2 volts and have been for some time. So I'm very happy with my setup. Hey, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bam!